click the bell icon to turn on notifications. In this module, we'll take a look at the blending modes of your layers. These are how the color of one layer will interact with the layers underneath it. You can find blending modes toward the top of the layers panel on the left here. I'll use this solid color fill layer to demonstrate. I've set the opacity of this layer to 60% because it will show you most clearly what the blending modes do. So to get to the blending modes, go to this drop down menu and I'll cycle through a few of these blending modes to show you what they look like. If you want to try different blending modes on your image and cycle through them quickly, you can just press the down arrow on your keyboard to quickly go through them without having to click on each one. You can also type the up arrow to go back, so use your up and down arrows to cycle through them. You can see that as I'm cycling through these different blending modes, the salmon pink color fill layer is behaving differently and displaying differently on top of the background image. Blending modes will behave differently depending on the opacity of your layers and the colors in them. I recommend trying them out with your images and see what effects they can have. Sometimes you'll try to use a blending mode and it might not change anything about your image. So for example, if I go back to dissolve and turn the opacity of this color fill layer all the way up to 100%, you can see that it doesn't look any different from the normal. So the opacity of your layer definitely will affect how your blending mode displays. If you want to do more research on blending modes, and get very specific about each different one, you can actually find information from Adobe's help on every single blending mode. Some tools in the PSE editor have blending modes themselves. If I use the paintbrush tool, you can see that there is a drop-down menu here that says Mode. And here, you can see the same blending modes as you can choose on the layer itself. So if I create a new document, I'll just make this a blank file, and I'll fill the background with a color. I can paint on top of this using different blending modes in this drop-down menu here. So here's Normal. You can paint with Dissolve. You can paint with Hue. You have all these different options for blending modes in your tool itself. That wraps up this video about blending modes in the PSE editor. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.